Good day, welcome to another one of Taff's tutorials. I am Taff. Now, um, one of the things I've noticed in a lot of Reaper forums is there are people who do not have a audio interface and there's a lot of questions around using a USB microphone. Now, whilst this isn't ideal for anybody's recording, uh, there's a lot of people that you know, so they'll go online, they'll get a cheap um, USB microphone. Uh, it's not too bad for doing podcasts and things like that. It's not ideal for recording with, but you do the best you can with the tools that you've got. So we're going to run through today how to set up your USB microphone for recording. So go into Reaper. Go to Options, Preferences, or just Control and P, and it brings up uh, this box here. Scroll down to Audio Device. We want the Wave Out, and your Input Device, drop down menu, select Microphone USB Audio Device. Now I'm going to click OK because we're going to do a little bit of an experiment here, and we're going to go back here and show you this. Because if you see, we've got eight buffers at uh, yeah, it's 1,024 samples, and it's given a latency of 185 milliseconds. So we'll click OK uh, on the input, mono, input one, place that on. So if I speak into this microphone, you might be able to hear uh, that, that there's, there's a slight, a slight delay. delay. I don't, I don't know, know if that's, that's actually going, going to come through onto, onto the recording. recording. That, that slight delay, delay is the latency, which um, uh, you'll, you'll be able, be able to see uh, along the top, the top of your screen, screen as well. Um, um, admittedly, admittedly, I'm, I'm covering, covering that, that a bit. So what so I'll do is I'll, I'll move, move myself, myself down, down here. Ha! <laughs> There, there we go, go along, along here, you can, can see one or two channels, channels uh, the sample rate, rate. And, and we can, can see that it's, it's got 187 milliseconds, milliseconds uh, delay on the, on the wave, wave out. out. Now, uh, to help to with help this, with um, what we'll have to do is we'll put this down to six buffers and a rate of 256 samples. Uh, as you can see, that's reduced the latency to three uh, to 34 milliseconds, which means that when you're recording, you won't hear uh, very much of a difference. And because the output device is still set to your laptop speakers, you can stick uh, headphones into your laptop output. Um, like I say, the sound isn't going to be uh, absolutely fantastic, but it's, it's going to be good enough for um, uh, for using any USB microphone. Um, you can also use this with a USB guitar input and so on. Don't put too many effects on. Don't use too many of the plugins. And get your recording done first with your um, uh, your buffers set to that. And then you can put them back up to eight buffers and 1,028 um, or 1,024 bu uh, buffers. So that will then help you um, yes, uh, not experience so much delay while you're recording, and yeah, so when you're actually processing with um, uh, with plugins on, it won't give you horrible clicks and pops. Now, uh, I will go into another tutorial later uh, about using the tempo, the metronome, and things like that. But this gives you an idea of how to set up uh, USB equipment without an audio interface and be able to record with it um, OK. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you have any requests for other videos, leave them in the comments. Or, you know, so, uh, uh, message me directly if we're on Facebook or whatever. And I hope this helps.